challenge in this Intex K2 Explorer so far. Don't have the fin on in the river. Uh, lots of different things happening. Uh, my seat doesn't stay inflated on the back, so I'm more or less uh, supporting myself. I do have my foot out the whole time as rocks come by, try to keep myself off. Oh so, yeah, inflatable. I'm sitting in the back now, not in the front section of it. So after that one seat is out, check this and that's what we're going to. Been through some areas that were kind of rough to see how it would float and did decent. Again, no rudder, so I will go in circles fairly easy. We've had to go under two trees and get out and climb over one tree so far. All right, so then put this away. Again, turning circles without the rudder. So we'll just spin a circle so you can see full 360 on this. Okay, my final review for the Intex K2 Explorer. Got some of the stuff uh, from the river. Uh, again, this is probably a, uh, um, a lake or maybe a bay kind of vehicle, uh, vessel. But in this case, on the Chattahoochee River, uh, again, I did not use the fin. Uh, rudder uh, because when you were going over it and some well I couldn't film it while I was going over it because I figured that the fin going through would get stuck in the rocks uh, because it would I rubbed over a lot of rocks going through there and had to kind of scoot or lean to the left or right to try to to ride it and to get going again but uh, I would say that uh, it's kind of like riding in a dinghy boat so on the river where there's rocks it will glide over them, or you can kind of fluctuate where on a normal hard shell kayak, uh, you're just kind of hit it, glide, and try to come up over it where this one had that flex. Uh, the seat was the my uh, worst issue. The seat goes, uh, the seat bottom goes to this little Velcro piece, and then you buckle it in on the sides, sides, that side. And on those buckles, they did fine. I pulled it really tight to get it there. The first part when we had it, I had it setting in the, this is the front of the boat. So I had it setting about midway. So I was probably center and I fastened it into there so it would pull the back of it up which is inflatable also so you have a cushion on the bottom upright is where you're going to sit and that deflated twice for some reason uh, so finally i got it to where it was up and then it wouldn't give me the support so i ended up uh, shoving it back 
and forcing it almost against the buckles so that I had some support on the backside. At that time, it was decent. Uh, but other times uh, it could, it didn't set right. So I ended up pushing it all the way back and I sat on the bottom of the boat and then used both the base and the back as my cushion and that worked kind of well. Uh, I was further on the bottom so I rubbed a little more uh, going back. So after we went over the tree, had to climb over the tree in the river, uh, I moved it to the back portion which is that Velcro and hooked it into those buckles right there. And same, same kind of thing. Uh, so I was curious to see, and we're just now kind of getting back and everything after it was deflated, what the bottom looked like after rubbing over uh, a lot of rocks. Uh, I don't think that I really hit some trees there may have been a tree that you kind of glide over, but nothing that was like poking to see if there was any issue. Here's where the rudder is supposed to go, Finn. Again, I did not use that. So whenever I was out and uh, the rocks were not there and we were in the flat and the deeper areas, I wished that there was a way that you could like put the rudder down and then a way to easily put it up if you were coming to a rapids and kind of something like that and then put it back down because after we'd get through that then it was really you would row it and it would go to the left and it would go to the right and it would go to the left so it uh, didn't have everything quite right there so uh, the bottom looks fairly decent the uh, oars decent they come apart uh, come in two or three pieces so they uh, easily compacted air coming out of it was great on the sides just unscrew it and down it goes so pumping up was about 15 minutes I get again the K2 Explorer 